The Central Reserve Police Force CRPF is the largest of India's central armed police forces. It functions under the aegis of Ministry of Home Affairs MHA of the Government of India. The CRPF's primary role lies in assisting the state, union territories in police operations to maintain law and order and counter insurgency. It came into existence as the Crown Representatives Police on 27 July 1939. After Indian independence, it became the Central Reserve Police Force on enactment of the CRPF Act on 28 December 1949. Besides law and order and counter-insurgency duties, the CRPF has played an increasingly large role in India's general elections. This is especially true for the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Bihar and in the North East, with the presence of unrest and often violent conflict. During the parliamentary elections of September 1999, the CRPF played a major role in the security arrangements. Of late, CRPF contingents are also being deployed in UN missions. With 239 battalions and various other establishments, the CRPF is considered India's largest paramilitary force and has a sanctioned strength of 313,678 personnel. Topic mission Topic The mission of the Central Reserve Police Force shall be to enable the government to maintain rule of law, public order and internal security effectively and efficiently to preserve national integrity and promote social harmony and development by upholding supremacy of the constitution. In performing these tasks with utmost regard for human dignity and freedom of the citizens of India, the force shall endeavour to achieve excellence in management of internal security and national calamities by placing service and loyalty above self. Topic history topic The CRPF was derived from the CRP Crown Representatives Police on 27 July 1939 with two battalions in Nimic means North Indian Military and Cavalry Headquarter, Madhya Pradesh. Its primary duty at the time was to protect the British residents in sensitive states of India. In 1949, the CRP was renamed under the CRPF Act. During the 1960s, many state reserve police battalions were merged with the CRPF. The CRPF has been active against foreign invasion and domestic insurgency. On 21 October 1959, S. I. Karam Singh and 20 soldiers were attacked by the Chinese army at Hot Springs in Ladakh resulting in 10 casualties. The survivors were imprisoned. Since then, 21 October is observed as Police Commemoration Day nationwide, across all states in India. On intervening night of 8 and 9 April 1965, 3,500 men of 51st Infantry Brigade of Pakistan, comprising 18 Punjab BN, 8 Frontier Rifles and 6 Baluk BN, stealthily launched Operation Desert Hawk against border posts in Ran of Kutch. It was to the valour of Head Constable Bawana Ram deployed on the eastern parameter of Sardar Post whose gallant act was to a great extent instrumental in demoralising the intruders and forcing them to retreat from the post. There are few parallels of such a battle, and the then Union Home Minister very appropriately graded it as a military battle, not a police battle. The service and their sacrifice will now not need turning back to old records for appreciation, with that historic moment being picked up for celebration as Valour Day of the Force after year. The CRPF guarded the India-Pakistan border until 1965, at which point the Border Security Force was created for that purpose. On 2001 Indian Parliament attacked the CRPF troopers killed all five terrorists who had entered the premises of the Indian Parliament in New Delhi. When five armed terrorists tried to storm the Ram Janambumi – Babri Masjid complex in Ayodhya on 5 July 2005 and had penetrated the outer security rings, they were challenged by CRPF which formed the inner security ring. Shri Vihedo Taini, AC and Shri Dharambir Singh, head constable, who exhibited exemplary gallant were awarded with Shorya Chakra. In recent years, the Government of India has decided to follow up on recommendations of the Indian Cabinet to use each security agency for its mandated purpose. As a result, the counter-insurgency operations in India have been entrusted to the CRPF. In 2008 a wing called Commando Battalion for Resolute Action was added to the CRPF to counter the Naxalite movement. On 2 September 2009, 5,000 CRPF soldiers were deployed for a search and rescue mission to find the then Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y.S. Rajasekara Reddy whose helicopter went missing over the Nyamala Forest Range in Andhra Pradesh. This was the largest search operation ever mounted in India. 
Topic current role and strength topic as of 2010 the CRPF is the largest paramilitary organization of the country and is actively looking after the internal security of every part of India and are were even operating abroad as part of IPKF and the United Nations peacekeeping missions it is performing a variety of duties ranging from VIP security to election duties from guarding of vital installations to the counter naxal operations Topic list of Chiefs of Krip Topic Shri V. G. Kanatkar was the first Director General of Central Reserve Police Force from 3 August 1968 to 15 September 1969 and current Director General is Shri Rajiv Rai Bhatnagar since 27 April 2017. Topic organizational structure Topic The CRPF is headed by a Director General who is an Indian Police Service Officer and is divided into ten administrative sectors, each headed by an Inspector General. Each sector consists of one or more administrative and or operational ranges, headed by an officer of the rank of Deputy Inspector General of Police. Now, group centres are also headed by DIGs. The financial advisor of the CRPF has been an Indian Revenue Service Officer of the rank of Joint Secretary and also has DI advisors from the Indian Audit and Accounts Service or the Indian Telecom. Service and Indian Civil Account Service. There are 243 battalions, including 204 executive BNs, 6 Mahila BNs, 15 RAF BNs, 10 Cobra BNs, 5 Signal BNs and 1 Special Duty Group, 1 Parliament Duty Group, of approximately 1200 constables each. Each battalion is commanded by an officer designated as Commandant, and consists of 7 CRPF companies, each containing 135 men. Each company is headed by an Assistant Commandant. The Ministry of Home Affairs is plans to raise two group centres, two range HQs, one sector HQ and twelve new battalions including a Mahila all female battalion by 2019. The assistant commandants are group A gazetted officers, directly appointed upon clearing an exam conducted by the UPSC which is held yearly. The CRPF force is organised into a headquarters and force zones. A zone is either headed by an additional director general ADG or a special director general. A zone is subdivided into sectors where each sector is headed by an inspector general IG. Topic rank structure gazetted group A officer topic being a central Indian police agency and having high presence of Indian police service officers CRPF follows ranks and insignia similar to other police organizations in India. Asterisk there is no equivalence between the ranks of the defence forces and the police forces since there is no government established relativity in terms of rank. Topic the Rapid Action Force Topic The Rapid Action Force RAF is a specialised 10 battalion wing of the Indian Central Reserve Police Force. It was formed in October 1992, to deal with communal riots and related civil unrest. The battalions are numbered from 99 to 108. RAF is a zero repose force which gets to the crisis situation within a minimal time, thus enthuses an immediate sense of security and confidence amongst the general public. This force also has the credit for having a separate flag signifying peace and was proud recipient of President's Colour presented to it by Shish L. K. Advani, then Deputy Prime Minister of India on 7 October 2003 for its selfless service to the nation in the 11th year of coming into existence. The smallest functional unit in the force is a team commanded by an inspector, has three components namely riot control element, tear smoke element and fire element. It has been organized as an independent striking unit. One team in a company of RAF is composed of women personnel so as to deal more effectively with situation where the force forces women demonstrators. Topic Parliament Duty Group Topic Parliament Duty Group is an elite CRPF unit tasked to provide armed protection to Parliament House. It comprises 1,540 personnel drawn from various units of Central Reserve Police Force (CRPF). PDG members are trained in combating nuclear and biochemical attacks, rescue operations, and behavioral management. The Parliament House complex is shielded by four layers of security, each under teams from Delhi Police, CRPF, ITBP and personnel of Parliament Security Service. The present unit of Parliament Security Service was trained, keeping December 2001 attack into his serious consideration. The Parliament Security Service acts as the overall coordinating agency in close coordination with various security agencies such as the Delhi Police, CRPF, IB, SPG and NSG. 
PDG personnel are armed with Glock pistols, MP5 submachine gun, INSAS as sniper rifles with telescope and handheld thermal imagers. Topic weapons Topic CRPF uses basic infantry weapons which are manufactured indigenously at the Indian Ordnance Factories under control of the Ordnance Factories Board. Pistol Auto 9mm 1A and Glock 17 9mm pistols Heckler and Koch MP5 replacing the Carbine 1A 9mm sub-machine guns INSAS 5.56mm assault rifles INSAS 5.56mm light machine guns replacing the Bren L4 machine gun AGS-30 Plamia 30mm Automatic Grenade Launcher AKM for Counter-Insurgency Taver Tar 21 Micro Taver X95 Bullpup FN Mag OFB 51 mm mortar OFB 81 mm mortar Carl Gustav 84 mm recoilless rifles in addition to these CRPF also uses land mine detectors Topic women in the crypt Topic CRPF is the only paramilitary force in the country which has three Mahila ladies battalions. After its training in March 1987, 88 MBN won laurels for its work assisting the Meerut riots and later with the IPKF in Sri Lanka. Personnel of 2nd Mahila Battalion 135 BN performed creditably during the Lok Sabha elections 1996 in many states. At present Mahila personnel are deployed in active duty in Jammu and Kashmir, Ayodhya, Manipur, Assam and other parts of the country where they are doing commendable job. In addition each RAF battalion has a Mahila ladies component consisting of 96 personnel. With increasing participation of women in politics, agitation and crime, policemen have been feeling handicapped in handling women agitations especially because even a small, real or alleged misdemeanor on their part in dealing with any matter related to women has the potential of turning into a serious law and order problem. To cope with such eventualities the first Mahila BN in CRPF, the 88 M BN was created in 1986 with HQR in Delhi. The successful experiment of the 88 BN and the ever-increasing requirement of a Mahila component in dealing with emerging law and order situation as well as the government emphasis to empower the women department had taken of raising the 2nd and 3rd Mahila BN i.e. the 13 M BN with HQR at Gandhinagar in 1995 and the 213 BN with HQR at Nagpur in 2011. Topic Cobra – Commando Battalion for Resolute Action Topic In 2008 a wing called Commando Battalion for Resolute Action Cobra was added to the CRPF to counter the Naxalite movement in India. This specialized CRPF unit is one of the few units of the Central Armed Police Forces in the country who are specifically trained in guerrilla warfare. This elite fighting unit has been trained to track, hunt and eliminate small Naxalite groups. There are currently 10 Cobra units. Ten Cobra units raised between 2008 to 2011 have been trained, equipped and deployed in all LWE, insurgent affected areas of the states of Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Odisha, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, as well as Assam and Meghalaya as one of the best central armed police in the country trained to survive, fight and win in the jungle. Cobra is unquestionably, undoubtedly the best cap in the country. Cobra was awarded 04 Shorya Chakra, 01 Kurdi Chakra, 01 PPMG, 117 PMG, and 1267 DG Commendation Disc and 31 personnels was martyred during operations. Topic Commando 469 Topic CRPF Commandos are specialized in counter-terrorism, reconnaissance, and sabotage and have the honor of being the most elite among the forces. They undergo extremely rigorous training for years sometimes, before they are ready and when they are done with the training, they can be easily classified as among the toughest and most competent men and women in the forces. They are specialized to carry out covert operations. Topic milestones of bravery Topic The history of CRPF is replete with instances of heroic deeds and acts of valor from the day of its inception. CRPF have grown from strength to strength with every such act. The force from the point of view of its functions and activities has not only remained a police force for the mere purpose of helping the states in their anti dacoity operations and in maintaining internal law and order, but today its duties extend, much beyond its original scope, to fight terrorism and insurgency. The saga of steadfast loyalty to duty, some brilliant achievements and a few noble sacrifices will provide inspiration to the members of the force for a long time to come. Till date, the CRPF has been awarded 1586 medals. 
Topic See also Topic Ministry of Home Affairs Border Security Force Indo-Tibetan Border Police Central Industrial Security Force Sashastra Sima of Bal Assam Rifles National Security Guard Border Outpost Operation Green Hunt Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Official Website